You are an NPC. You have no right to talk to me like that, saying we're coming from a godless city. Excuse me, our god gave us freedom. Can I get an amen? Bro, it's part four. This is already my longest playthrough so far. It's a, a game that I'm enjoying playing on the channel and it's a game that you're also enjoying and it's like a win-win situation. I just really appreciate you guys giving the series so much attention. But yeah, um, I'm gonna try to bring some more variety to the channel because I don't wanna just play Genshin, you know? So in the last part, we were finally able to purify all the crystals and then we faced Storm Terror and then he became Devalin. And Venti, him being the God of Freedom, allowed Devalin to choose his own path free to make his own choices, free from rule. But of course, everything had to go wrong. The Fatui came in, but not just the Fatui. They brought Senora up in there. She took Venti's Gnosis, which is the power of the Archon. Like what visions are to vision bearers, Gnosis sees are to Archons. She took away his source of power and I'm guessing giving it to the Saritza and Shnaznaya? Now we're headed to my favorite region, Liyue. I love Liyue, it is so beautiful. I've talked about it so much already. So you already know the whole deal. Someone did comment on my video and said that there's a possibility that a waypoint unlocked in Sumeru or Fontaine, um, which I really hope it did. <gasps> this changes everything. Oh wait, is this in Fontaine? The woman was too stunned to speak. Okay. I know what I'm going to be doing later. That helps a lot. So thank you to that person. Your username, when I remember when I saw it, didn't look like it was pronounceable. Pronounceable? Is that a word? <laughs> it is a word. Ugh, God, I'm so smart. By the time I've uploaded this, you will know that I got a new person in the family. I also have have Layla, Beto, Yunjin, and Goro. When it comes to polling for people, I am not really gonna do it in these videos. I'll just make a separate video for it. Um, just cause like, I don't know if everyone's really interested in that. So these videos are mainly for the story. Oh, speaking of story, like you know how the characters, they have their own story quests. How would y'all feel about me doing those? Like not included in the main story, like those videos, would you want me to do just a separate video for the story quest or just do without it all together? Because I, I don't really know if y'all really like the story quest. There's only like three that I actually like. I like Ito's, Kazaha's. I, I like Zhongli's. I think the second part, but a lot of them, I didn't really care for it. But I feel like maybe if I paid attention this time, I might care for it. So would y'all want that? And if you do, would you want it to be like videos where I'll have it like Klee's story quests in one video and then the next video is like Kazaha story quests and blah 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 and all those be separate videos or would you rather it be something like here are all the story quests for all the characters in Mondstadt and it's like one big video and then the next one Lee Away characters, Inazuma, so on and so forth. Let me know down in the comments. We are going to the right of dissension. If you want to find the Geo Archon, this is the only chance you'll get all year. Okay. Oh, I guess it's a good thing Venti brought it up earlier. Otherwise, we definitely would have missed this year's Rite of Dissension. Yeah, that's like really convenient. Is it fate or a coincidence or premeditated? Do you know when it is? Do you know where it is? Well, I mean, it's obviously today, right? So we well, need to know where it is. Venti brought up the time, but Baiman knows nothing about where it is. <laughs> yeah, thanks Look, for nothing. We're already in Liyue. So, okay, oh, did you know the mora that we use is named after this guy? Really? But it's oh, right, because he's Morax. People from outside Liyue to refer to the Geo Archon by that name. Okay. So we should refer to the Geo Archon by the name Rex Lapis, 
like the people of Leela do. That's interesting. I've been getting a lot of books too. And uh, like, are they important to read? Or should I just, you know, just ignore it? It just like stop tracking it. A character, oh my gosh. Let me do this quest first, I guess. What do you mean a character is busy doing something? It's so important that it just changes the trajectory of the main quest. That's wild. Like, how important is this character that he just stops time just so that I can do his quest? Wildland Bookhouse. Oh, look, it's a. I guess this is where we go to buy books in Liyue. It's the. Feel free to look around. Guy. There's no obligation to buy. We're looking for the Liyue volume of the Tevat Travel Guide. Do you have it? Sorry, dear. We stopped stocking that a very long time. <sighs> but the Monster volume was. The thing is. The author made it too personal, and the result, it barely sold any copies, and the few travelers that did buy it made complaints after- Well, that's a shame. The Mondstadt- The fact remains that I don't have it in stock. If you- Oh, okay, wait, are you telling me the book is not in stock? Are you telling me that y'all don't sell it anymore? He was a regular customer here- Did somebody say out of print books? Is there a chance that Volume 6 of Legend of the Shattered Halberd is also in his collection? Apologies, my liege. Where are my manners? My name is Sing Cho, a humble Sing literature Cho. enthusiast who happened to be passing by. Since you and I are both in search of lost books, what say we travel together to Mount Qingse and pay a visit to Cheng the Ninth? My pleasure, fellow book lover. Okay. Go, Barbara, go! You too wish to bear witness to the right of dissension? <laughs> Me too. We all do. Oh my gosh, his As boy. a businessman myself, <laughs> how could I not take interest in Liyue's most important business trends? The 17 predictions given last year made more than a few ripples throughout the industry. What's more, there's been a rumor going around that the Tianxue herself, Ning Guang, has been acting secretly in the shadows. She wants the rocks created by GeoVision holders to be exempt from taxation. Wow, that's some super professional legal stuff, that is. <laughs> to be on the pulse of the predictions and the market is what makes this harbor what it is. Among the seven, Rex Lapis is the mm. oldest deity. His keen sense of strategy is well trusted among his people. Understanding the predictions as soon as possible can make all the difference in making your fortune. Interesting. So he's the oldest Archon of all the Archons. Probably the wisest too. Oh, are you also foreigners here for the Rite of Dissension? <sighs> to think I've lived in Liyue all these years and never come to see this before. <laughs> I guess it's like they say, locals never visit the tourist spots. <sighs> I wish you well on your travels. Liyue always welcomes you. Wow, that gave us no new information. Right of dissension. Oh yeah, that reminds me. Isn't that today? Once a year, Rex Lapis bestows upon us his divine prediction, guiding us on how to run Liyue for the coming year. Last year, it was the Yuhang of the Liyue Qixing that was given the honor of asking for the divine prediction. Ooh, Paimon knows this one. Mon status to freedom as Liyue is to contracts. Liyue has a strong focus on business and trade. Mm. The Liyue Qixing, the seven leaders of the seven enterprises of Liyue, hold true control over Liyue. That's what foreigners always say. The uh, true control mm. over Liyue will always be held by Rex Lapis. The Qixing is comprised of mere mortals. Rex Lapis is a god. Mondstadt's god is nowhere to be seen, whilst our god is forever with yeah. us. Stay in Liyue long enough and you'll see. Given that you just left your godless city, it's what time is you wrong with her? what it's like to be in a city whose god has walked with it through all of history. This girl, me and her, we already got a problem. You are an NPC. You have no right to talk to me like that, saying we're coming from a godless city. Excuse me, our god gave us freedom. Can I get an amen? Given that you just left your godless city, Excuse me? He gave us the freedom to choose to live our life. 
What has your god up done for you, jerk? Great! Then we can start our experience off with the Rite of Dissension! No, Paimon, don't just take that! I need you to go off on her like you go off on everyone else. She wants to go off on Venti, calling him the tone-deaf bard, but when some NPC is disrespecting Monsat, all of a sudden she's quiet, respectful. I'm done talking to you. It seems like the Rite of Dissension is not that important. Because, like, I thought it would be, like, a big thing. Your first time in Liga? Actually, it's my first time to see Everyone the Rite of Dissension, Everyone pronounces it too. differently. Ah, look, How is it pronounced? Long. I heard that when attending these kinds of formal occasions, Rex Lapis himself appears as a celestial cross between two of Liga's ancient mythical creatures. Ah, sorry, I shouldn't interrupt your wish. Please, take this. I wish I could get some leads from the Geo Archon. Your wish will not be coming true. Halt! Those not involved in the proceedings are not permitted to go any further. Kill Joy! Dang, I was just trying to look at the food! Like, do you even know who I am? I saved Mondstadt yesterday. I wish I could find my brother soon. That will also not be happening. I'm sorry. Wait, am I Rex Lapis? Why am I doing the predictions? <laughs> Now that we're all done with the wishing, guess we can just wait here for things to get started. Rex Lapis. But he's also called Morax. And he's the god of contracts. Because, you know, that was something I was, like, kind of confused about. Like, I was like, contracts? Like, why is that, like, something that you're the god of? God of freedom. Justice. Wisdom. Contracts. I was always confused about that. But really what it means by contracts, I guess it means like promises, which I wish they would have named it that. But given that it's related to business and trade, contracts makes more sense. And maybe contracts is like really important in China too, since Liyue Wei is based on China. We gotta get up front. We can't see squad back here. Yeah, excuse me. Sorry, excuse me. Okay, Ning Guang, okay with the nails? The hour is upon us. See, like, not that many people are here. Like, is this event important to people? Or is it, like, one of those things where. They just go to people who attended and just ask them, hey, so what did Rex Lapis predict? Seal the exits. You don't even want to try CPR or anything. Some resuscitation. <laughs> just that what? quick, huh? What's going on? That's wild. Did she just say Rex Lapis is the Geo Archon is dead? Oh no, the Millilith! Looks like they're nabbing suspects who got too close. Oh my gosh, we're gonna be the first suspects. I Hyman, you're number one suspect. Wait, where are you going? It was a god we face off against when we first arrived in this world too. We can't fall into their hands. Okay. Wait, what? We're gonna oh, be sneaking no. out. There's a whole bunch of soldiers out there too. Um, okay. Your identity. You may not be the killer, but we can't. <laughs> Let's go! Barbara. I mean, we didn't do anything. Why would we even try to sneak out? We're innocent. Like, this just makes us look more suspicious. There's nowhere to run! Hey, girly, hold still. Barbara. Stop! 
Come with me. I mean, for all we know, he's the killer. <laughs> and now we're an accomplice. Okay, I see the hearing though. Paimon's exhausted. Just what muscles does magical floating use exactly? So insensitive! You have no idea just how tiring floating around. Wait, just who are you exactly? Call me child. Child? Child? What? So we're supposed to dote on you? <laughs> no, no, not at all. It's an alias of sorts. Okay, so that's In not Mondstadt, your real name. I don't suppose you came across a Senora by any chance. Senora? Child? <gasps> You're Fatui, one of the Harbingers. Oh no! Don't worry, I'm not looking for a fight. Senora but gave you, you quite the bad impression, huh? Pff, that woman. Can't say I'm a fan either. Right. Let's forget all about her, shall we? I'm here to help you. I don't know. Come now, the don't be like that. I'm not a bad guy. Oh, okay, perhaps I'm kind of a bad guy, but I'm not here to give you any trouble. Nah. Would it be too much to ask for you to keep the sword sheathed? I heard of your deeds in Mondstadt, so I couldn't help but notice you during the proceedings back there. And because I had my eye on you the whole time, I know it wasn't you. Someone else was clearly behind it. Why were you looking at but, me? <laughs> regrettably, given I'm a Fatui envoy from Snezhnaya, there's no way I'd be trusted after something of this magnitude. The ruling Qixing of Liyue has always been overly suspicious of us. Well, can you honestly blame them? <laughs> Guess I shouldn't try to deny that. Go, Barbara, go! Here, let me give you this. This is a... I'm not sure exactly. Sometimes all money can buy is things, and not a name for oneself. All I know is that it's a sigil. A sigil to keep the mighty and illuminated Adepti from bringing harm to you. Okay. Adepti? You will eventually reach a stone forest known as Jueyun Karst. The people of Liyue believe it to be the abode of the Adepti. Legend or not, they believe it. As such, offerings to the Adepti are made at its borders. Nobody dares venture in. But okay. I have no need for believing. Not when I know for a fact that the Adepti truly exist. Hate to admit it, but your Fatui intel seems alright. But why would we go looking for Adepti anyway? <laughs> oh, my little friend. There are plenty of reasons mortals seek the blessings of Adepti. Money, health, love. But you, you will go for justice. How does he just know things? The Chi Sing will already have dispatched the Millilith. They'll be seeking out the assassin from amongst the onlookers. But how could a mere mortal kill a god that can sweep aside entire armies? Rex Lapis never gave up his power as a god. This level of crude response is beyond what is called for. How suspicious. You think they're trying to hide the true culprit? You think the chin... the chin... the chin... the chin... The chin you think the did it and they're trying to pin it on someone else your thinking is even more radical than my own honorary knight even now the northland bank wouldn't be able to hold the millilith off for long but the adepti can clear you of any wrongdoing oh. Leo was founded by the geo archon and the adepti of course it was built by force okay what i'm confused about why did we run away in the first place because like if we were just like Oh, we're just here to see the right of ascension and hear Rex Lapis predictions. But we ran away and it made us look suspicious. So now we're definitely a suspect. If you think about it, we're definitely innocent. Not because obviously we didn't do anything, but people have heard about what we did in Mondstadt. So why would someone who saved Mondstadt save one of the four winds would all of a sudden kill Rex Lapis? You know, like, it just doesn't make any sense. <gasps> you can actually go up and see his body? Oh my gosh, wait. What's going on, YouTube? So today is my first day at the Rite of Ascension. I was just waiting with a bunch of people trying to get the prediction of Rex Lapis. And then out of nowhere, he falls out the sky and lands dead on the table. Wow, guys, this is so crazy. The Millilith, they're questioning me, and I am their number one suspect. They won't let me see my family. I've been in jail for five days. Please someone bail me out. Barbados, are you out there? You're the god of freedom. Can't you get me out? 
Set me free, Barbados. That's hilarious that his body is just right there. Crazy how the Milva just let me walk up here. They really need to fire these guards. They literally just let me walk up here. I didn't even sneak past them. Uh, let's go to visit the Adepti. And why did Child help us? And why did we like accept his advice when he's a part of the Fatui? Not only a part of the Fatui, but he's one of the Harbingers. See, like the Traveler in the in Paimon IQ is negative right now. Those that dare enter Dreyun Karst. Hi. Oh, this music. I was sent here. Please take a look at this. A sigil of permission. Many a season has passed since one was last in the presence of such an item. Where did Child even get that? And why did he, he give it to us? He before you is the mighty and illuminated Adeptus, Mooncarver. Mooncarver. Speak, Traveler. What business have you here? You don't look moon-themed. Actually... It's the Assassin. They dared to flee here to Juryun Karst. What? They followed Sir, us over here? We've already stepped too far into Juryun Karst ourselves. We. Ah, there's no choice. Apprehending the assassin is top priority. We must press on. Disturbing wow. our borders. Yeah, kill them. Smite them. See them gone. One will not have interruption. Period. I got you, bro. I mean, sir. Um. My lord. That's crazy that they would do this on sacred ground. And how did you know we'll be up here? Wait, the treasure hoarders are here too? Oh. Well. Uh, uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, bro, Rex Lapis is dead. Preposterous. The Liyue Qixing. Utterly disappointing. Oh. <laughs> How could someone possibly assassinate Rex Lapis during the Rite of Dissension? And then place suspicion upon the attendees? Mmm. Hmm. Yeah, something's not right. Traveler, of the unjust accusations placed upon you, one has become aware. The mind knows its answer. Though one must consult with one's fellows, lest the mind be misguided. Go, take your sigil of permission. Carry with you a message. Who should I look Mountain for? Mountain Shaper and Cloud Retainer mm. can be found here. Only fate will decide if you shall find them. Only fate. Dang, can you like give him a call and tell him that we're coming? There of demons, a guardian Yaksha. Go to Wangshu Inn. There you shall seek him. He said fate will determine if we find them or not. But like, you know that we were unjustly accused. So like, why can't you just call him up real quick and tell them that we're coming, be like, hey, I got this mortal with a sigil of permission. They were accused of killing Rex Lapis. So you want to talk to them real quick, prove their innocence so that they don't go to jail or worse. But instead, he's like, we'll see if the stars have it for you or not. All right. Seek out Mountain Shaper. Someone over here is going through it. <laughs> you good, bro? I guess we'll talk to him. Have mercy, almighty Adeptus. I beg you, show mercy upon me and my brother. Spare our lives. What's wrong? Who are you? What's going on? We asked you first. Yeah. Oh. You enjoy safe passage in Joyun Karst. You only mean one thing. You must be Adepti messengers sent here to rescue me and my brother. Sure. What are you talking about? Oh, have mercy, mighty messengers of the illuminated Adepti. I beg you to save us. My brother and I, we only came here I don't because trust our them. <laughs> family is poor. And we heard tell of treasures hidden in the amber of Mount Hulao. It was stupid of us. But all we wanted to do was find enough treasure to sell and support our family. Mm. We followed the path up the mountain, but suddenly... The Amber that swallowed up my brother, Li Dang. Dang! I ran away and made it this far before it dawned on me. 
We were trespassers in the abode of the Adepti, and this was our punishment. Well, I had no idea how you to knew what would happen. my brother, so I just started praying for the Adepti to have mercy right here on the spot. And now, that long last, two messengers come to my aid. What? We're not Adepti messengers. We just want to find the Adepti like everyone else. No, 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 you you must be messengers. You have to be. Bro, are you listening to me? I, I just no said we're not. trapped him. Please, you have to rescue him. I beg you, show me some Adepti mercy. Of your transgression, your predicament, and your repentance, one has become aware. Thanks be to the Adeptus of Mount Hulao and to their messengers. Never will we be so foolish again. He's up to Ooh, something, bro. Check you out. When you speak like that, you actually make a pretty convincing Adepti messenger. It's probably blasphemous what I just did. Oh my gosh, you can see Chen Yu Vale from here. What do you think, cutie? Don't. Don't call me that. Don't call me. doll. There you are. <coughs> Whoa, he was really trapped. What happened? You, you rescued me. Oh, thank you. Oh, and have you seen my brother? His name is Lee Ding. Well, I guess we they wouldn't do this on purpose, together. right? I just hope he didn't get trapped in Amber too. Phew. So he's safe then? Oh, thank you. I will head up to find my brother now. Here's hoping I don't run into any more Amber on the way. Imagine when I broke the Amber. I just ended up cutting him in half. Um, here's your brother. Both pieces. Thank you for rescuing my brother, oh mighty messengers of the illuminated Adepti. Have you ever seen the Adeptus here? What? No. I mean, like everyone else, we've heard that there's an Adeptus living in Mount Hulao. The regular folks like us would never have the chance to meet them. No way. Unlike you guys, you're Adepti messengers. So it's a whole different story. Anyway, we have trespassed in the realm of the Adeptus for long enough. We should get going. Thank you, mighty Adepti messengers. Yes, thank Um, you're welcome. Who dares trespass yeah. on my mountain? <laughs> but why does the dialogue keep cutting off? <laughs> or maybe he just got shy all of a sudden. Foolish mortal, come forth and receive your punishment. You intrude upon the sanctity of Mount Hulao. You destroy the amber of my mountain. Oh. And you free a thief <laughs> whose freedom is not yours to give. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. The thief's ignorance was an affront to the Adepti. But your actions are an abomination of the highest order. Wait, we can explain. Um, Moon, Moon Carver sent Moon us. Moon Carver? Trusted a mere mortal as his messenger? Is this a sigil of permission? One is surprised to find such things still exist in the mortal realm. Okay, if it's so rare, how does child have it? In the it? beginning, Rex Lapis and why did cast he give them it to the us? mortals with his own hand. Few were mm. made then, and thousands of years on, Fewer still remain. Oh wow! So these are like original permission Speak. slips. The permission one shall slips. shall <laughs> listen to the matter which brings you here. Then one shall verify the truth thereof. You would be wise to speak the truth, for Liyue is not so far from here that one would be easily deceived. Rex Lapis, assassinated, at the right of dissension. Yeah. What mortal in Liyue, nay, in all the world, would conspire to commit such foul treason? Or perhaps the more pertinent question is, what power in this world could aspire to achieve it? Hmm. Rex Lapis charged the Adepti with the protection of Liyue, and we have always honored this duty. As the people have prospered, so have we gradually withdrawn into the mountains. Mm. Indeed, this was a gesture of goodwill towards humanity. In the moment y'all left. But now, alas, mm -hmm. Rex Lapis, gone. Traveler, of the matter you have relayed, 
one has become aware. That's crazy that one now knows this is how they're finding out. Has sent for us. Once like they didn't like feel it or matters, anything. That require they just had attention. to hear it from a stranger. One shall convene with the other Adepti. Can someone explain the Amber situation to me? Hyman can. Adepti always have magical powers in storybook. You um, know, like how grass is actually Adepti hair and rivers are actually Adepti saliva. There must be something similar going on with the Amber. So is rain Adepti tears? Amber must be crystallized Adepti. Oh. Oh god. Now we're going to go to Cloud Retainer. To Cloud Retainer we go. Hey, who put this table here? They've even set it ready for dinner. There's a wine jug and everything. Oh, they even have the guest names carved into the seats. Here sits Retainer. Here sits Guizhong. Guizhong? Here sits Rex. Oh. Maybe Rex is short for Rex Lapis. But Paimon has no idea about Guizhong. So this must be where Cloud Retainer and the other Adepti have their dinner parties. My biggest flex is I perfected the Adeptus Temptation dish. Okay, offer the... <laughs> she said, oh, you got me food? Come on in. <laughs> oh, I remember this. Look, that platform is moving. Uh, so that's what this button is Yep, for. yep. Yes, it is, Paimon. Good job. Man, she's making us work for it. You see all these platforms we got to go on? All right, wake up. I'm here. Yeah. Paimon thinks that you're doing this all wrong. Try activating the mechanisms again, but pay more attention this time. Whoa. Okay, she came at me kind of aggressive with that. What the heck? This is how I complete 90% of the puzzles. I just keep hitting stuff until something happens. It's like critical thinking? I think not. Can you finally talk to us, Cloud Retainer? One is most impressed. The path that leads through this abode defies those of ordinary abilities. It's because I'm no ordinary person. I'm built the one different. Before you is the Adeptus Cloud Retainer. Now speak of the matter which brings you here. Did you build this whole place? Did you design all this? Who cares? We're not here for that. Date the matter which brings you here at once. You have disturbed the tranquility of this place for long enough. Dang, sorry. We're just trying to tell you that Rex Lapis Rex is dead. Rex Lapis. Assassinated. <laughs> they all have the How same can reaction. This be? Such a heinous crime. <laughs> I dare. The notion is so preposterous as to be unbelievable. One shall have to verify the truth of the matter independently. Perhaps one shall quash Liyue first, then convene with the other Adepti. Wait, what? What did Liyue do? Wait, what? Did you just say squash Liyue Harbor? Are you seriously gonna wipe out the whole city? But what did they Only do? Only a response of sufficient magnitude can negate the possibility of further incidents. That does, that does not, that doesn't even make any sense. In what situation? that the Archon dies, you punish the ones that you promised to protect. Make it make sense, Cloud Retainer. We shouldn't have come here. It is as you say, but if Rex Lapis has indeed been murdered, then Liyue is in great peril. To delay in quashing the threat is to invite further disaster. It is precisely because one does not wish to see further suffering. That exceptional measures are deemed necessary at this exceptional time. She, uh, Yikes! she's Look, tweaking. You gotta think of something. She wants to squash Liyue flat, and it doesn't seem like she's bluffing. That doesn't even make any sense. But maybe it's something that you're not supposed to understand because the Adepti are like higher forms of humanity. So their reasoning is just illogical compared to ours because it's just so ascended i guess but at the same time she's tweaking you accepted our offering that makes us a contract exactly what paima was gonna say 
We made all that delicious food and gave every last bit of it to you. We were hoping you might help Leela out, not wipe Leela out. Yeah, like, what's your or deal? at least let's, you know, discuss it first. Can't hurt for you to get a second opinion. Contract? A cruel irony that you should appeal to the notion after the merciless murder of the god of contracts himself. But like, what did the, the citizens do? The people of Liyue seem quite content to dispense with their contracts. They are quite adept at taking that which is composed of black and white and turning it gray. Nevertheless, since you come here in the name of contracts, Far be it from one to abandon one's own contractual obligations. Yeah, like the contract you would have to you protect the people of Liyue. Permission. Rex Lapis infused these sigils with adeptal power when he first cast them. That power once aided humans in battle. Most of the sigils' power has long since worn off. It is but a keepsake now. This keepsake cannot be taken as proof of your trustworthiness. One must investigate the claims that you make independently. This, no doubt, is Mooncarver's very reason for summoning us. Your audience with the Adeptus before you is now concluded. Leave at once and- Yes, ma'am. Okay, go to Wang Shu In. Oh, this seems to be Wang Shu In. Wang Shu In. Compared to Joy and Karst, this place seems basic. Are we really gonna find an Adeptus here? Paimon is so rude. Let's take a look. <laughs> oh, he's not here? To the blind, everything may not be as it appears. They have the same eye color. A sigil of permission? You came prepared. Though this only prevents me from hurting you myself. Doesn't stop you from getting hurt in other ways. Dang, is like that, Joe? Uh, Paimon doesn't get it. He has, like, the with coolest character the design. Mortal souls are not as robust as those of Adepti, nor can your blood carry this level of Adeptal energy. It's for your own good. Leave. Now. Okay, Zuko. I wonder why this is his spot that he wants to post that. Like, while the other Adepti, they're in the mountains, you know, cooking and stuff. But he's at a hotel. Why is an Adepti at the Marriott? Can't you see him on a break, kid? Scram. 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 Oh, this chef got <sighs> I see. If it's for the- But my heart's not really in it right now. He said he saw a ghost in the kitchen? Bro, if you don't man up and make us some almond there tofu- There doesn't seem to be anything. <sighs> oh, there's a ghost. <laughs> Did Pipe just cuss? Hey man, you were right. Casper is what? up in there. I mean, why can't we just make the almond tofu and just go? Like, why do we have to be some- Paranormal investigators right now. <laughs> there she is! So scary! Quick, you! You grab her! You want me to She's grab her? To Why are we ghost hunting right now? Out of all the, the quests in Genshin, the ghost quests are always my least favorite. Especially the one in Inazuma. The... I can't remember what the island name is called, but y'all know that long quest that took actual days to finish. Silly Oh my gosh, how are they not freaking out from this? This is so creepy. Next time, you can come play with Dusky Ming. Heck no! If you don't come and play, Dusky Ming will come find you. Okay, we'll play. We'll play hide and seek. Okay? Or tag or something. Silly child, Billy child, Silly, Billy, Billy child. Talk to Zhao. We got some almond tofu for you. Hey, thanks for coming. 
Did you know Rex Lapis is dead? It's your favorite, almond tofu, as well as this distant traveler's best dish, a satisfying salad. So that's the only way you can Tell convince the Adepti to eating. help you? <laughs> By giving them food? I mean, Rex Lapis. Relatable. How could I do the same be? thing at work. I you want me to stay an extra hour? Imagine it. Better give me some food. The times have changed. I've never imagined a Leoa without him. The ruling Qixing. Just what role have they played in this? <sighs> I will seek Moon Carver, Mountain Shaper, and Cloud Retainer. It is time they too made their decisions. Okay, so the Adepti, they all think the Qi, the Qixing, the Qixing have something to do with it. But who is the Qixing? Like, did they actually show us them? Because like the only person I really saw was Ning Guang. But I thought she was in some kind of separate group. Will the Adepti take over his role in Liyue? Will the Adepti interrogate the Chishin? I'm more interested Adepti about that. do not turn on their responsibilities. I have my reasons to not want to be tainted by the mortal realm, but responsibilities are responsibilities. Our god is the god of contracts, after all. Don't mind me, Millilith soldiers. I said that weird. Millilith? 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 Like, that... It's not a normal word, so I don't see how you expect me to be able to pronounce it seamlessly. Millilith? Like, you try saying Millilith. Just once. Millilith. Millilith. You finally returned. How was your journey to Dweyun Karst? So this is what happened. I see. Yes. Huh. Moon Carver, Mountain Shaper, Cloud Retainer, Conqueror of Demons. Some of these names have never come up in the intel the Fatui gets hold of. Why are you helping us? As a returning gift, I too have information for you. Regarding the Archon's passing, the Liyue Qixing's response really has given me food for thought. Oh, what They've they say? They've announced that, as the true killer has not yet been found, they are not allowing anyone to pay their respects to the Exuvia. Exuvia. They've even gone so far as to try and cut off information. But with the right of dissension and all, even the Qixing isn't able to keep a lid on things. Exuvia? It's common knowledge in Liyue that Rex Lapis is also an Adeptus. The Geo Archon is also the god of contracts and is also known as the Exuvia, prime of the Adepti. Dang, so he's the got like a lot of titles. The Adepti of today all signed contracts to protect Liyue way back then. Guess that explains why they're all so focused on Liyue's well-being. If the ruling Qixing became unable to perform their duty properly, the Adepti have the right to take corrective action. So like, if he's a Geo Archon and he's also an Adepti, but all the other Archons are probably not Adepti, what's the difference between an Adepti and an Archon? Like what makes an Adepti and an Adepti to make it so much so that he can also be an Adepti while also being an Archon? The Geo Archon spirit has risen. So why would the Chi Sing hide his vessel? Truly suspicious. Oh, right. He's the whole reason we came here. Yeah, so if like the who we're going to talk to now. has locked up Exuvia and won't let anyone near, then our quest to find the Seven is already over. Oh, you're trying to find the Seven? And just why might that be, pray tell? <laughs> Nothing to do with you, that's right. <laughs> nice answer. A knight that gets duped by the Fatui would really be no knight at all now, would they? But I can help you with that too, you know. Well, why are you helping us what? in the first place? That's that's Give what I don't understand. Time. time to find someone. It's like, is he looking for intel? Someone who can help you break through this family. Does he family? have a crush on her? Uh, <laughs> truly fascinating. Does the he harder they try to silence favor? the situation, the greater the chaos that erupts. I don't understand. Wait until the following day. I will not be doing that. I was gonna put my camera on this chair right here. So it looks like I'm sitting there. Filler is necessary. Sometimes filler can contain exposition and information that we need to know. Honestly, it was quite a lot of filler, quite a lot of just like going from one place to the other, doing these side quests, like the brothers on the mountain, like one of them got stuck in the amber, the whole thing with the ghosts. It was just like, I'm like, what does this have to do with the story? Like, what is, what significance did the ghost have or anyone's character? It was just like a random thing that happened. Maybe it's important later. But besides that, very interesting of what's happening. Someone killed Rex Lapis. All the Adepti are pointing their fingers at the Chishin. 
Chishing. Chishing. Obviously Chinese is not my first language. <laughs> English is barely my first language. So sometimes I do be struggling a lot. Interesting about what happened to Rex Lapis and how everyone is a suspect. I guess they're all gonna do an investigation on what's happening. Child, I don't trust him. It's cause like he's being too nice. And when people are too nice to me, I'm immediately suspicious. Cause I'm like, what do you want from me? What, what are you trying to gain from this relationship? Are you gaining anything out of this? What are you hiding? What do you want from me? Leave me alone. We'll see what the next chapter brings for us. But anyway. I hope you enjoyed the video and also thank you again so much for y'all's support on this series. I hope to bring you guys more quality videos for you to enjoy. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being here and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!